loves and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Angelique and welcome to my channel. And if you guys are already subscribed, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite beauty products for June. So like a June favorites video and I'm excited to be doing one. I haven't done one in a really long time. So in this box I have all my favorites for June and I am going to jump right in and start sharing with you guys what my favorite beauty products for June are. Putting out there a little disclaimer, there is construction going on upstairs, outside, and a lawnmower, so bear with me. This audio might be fun. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, the first little goodie in my little box of beauty is from Lush Twilight Spray. It is Sweet Lavender and Tonka, and it says Feel Tension Melt Away. I'm obsessed with the spray. I love anything with lavender in it, especially like when I just get done working out and I'm like, Mm, so good. So all the ingredients in this spray are like vegan, natural ingredients. It's safe and like synthetic so I can spray it around the dogs and like I'm totally fine. Spray it around the house. So if you like lavender, this one is highly recommended. <laughs> Sorry, the other day I was like, it looks like a cleaning bottle. Because I was like spraying it on myself. He was like, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, it smells good. So the second item on my list is a beauty blender and the beauty blender solid. I'm obsessed with beauty blenders. I don't know what it is about them, but there has not been another sponge that I like. like. This is the only sponge that I have found that like really works with like my concealer and my foundation and my skin. I just really like the combo. And so if you haven't used a beauty blender, it is worth it. They last a really long time, especially if you use their soap. Their soaps are formulated for their sponges. The solid is perfect for traveling because it's like a solid like bar. So I just put a little water on my sponge and I can rinse it out. I just keep it in my makeup bag and then I can clean my beauty blender like on the go. My solid is actually almost gone. It's like empty. I use my solid every time after I use my beauty blender because beauty blenders actually hold a lot of bacteria which isn't good for your skin so I recommend washing it after every use because you don't want that bacteria going back into your pores so clean your beauty blenders and also don't share your beauty blenders you don't want other people's bacteria just to sit in your sponge so just a little tip yes they're tearing up the floors of the next door apartment that's why oh they're that way moved out. Well, oh that explains yeah. a lot. That's why it sounds and feels so close. Because it is. Yes. Okay. Love you. Love you. Well, there you go. They are ripping up floors, which is why it sounds like it's underneath us, because it pretty much is. Ooh. Okay. The next thing is Glossier's Balm.com. I am a sucker for like solves for like my lips. I normally use like Rosebud, but I've been recently obsessed with the Glossier ones. I have the Rose one, the one without flavor, I think it's just the original. And then I like the coconut one as well. I keep them in my purse, in my travel bags, super easy. They're just a universal like skin solve, so you can put them on like your cuticles, on your lips. So if you're looking for a good like solve for your lips and just like a universal thing to keep on you, Balm.com is the answer. Next thing, ooh, let's do this one. So this skincare item I've been using for like the last couple weeks, the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. I actually had a makeup artist use this on my face one time, but like before we started applying makeup, and I loved the way it felt. So how this works is it's actually powder. So you basically just get your hand stamp as well as your face, and then you just put the powder on your hand and then start rubbing it into your face, and it almost creates like a paste. And it's basically just a micro exfoliant. I really like that it gets off all my dead skin cells, at least my face brighter and smoother. So you guys might want to try it if you guys are looking for an exfoliator. I like it. So the next thing on my June's favorite beauty product is Fenty Beauty. It is the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. It's like a universal like rose nude color. I actually have it on right now and I've been wearing it almost every day. So it's been like in every one of my photos. I know people have been asking, what lip color are you using? I'm literally wearing like nothing underneath just this lip gloss and I've been obsessed. It like works perfect with my skin. I've seen it on multiple people now and really like it. Oh, that's the other thing. It's not super sticky. It obviously is sticky because it's lip gloss, but it's not like glue. I hate when like your hair gets stuck in lip gloss and you have to like pull it out of it. Nothing's more annoying and this one is not like that. So, recommended. Oh, oh I just stuck my finger in there. Oh, nope. Whoops. So another item on my favorites is the Maybelline Master Chrome in the color Molten Gold. I'm a sucker for highlighter and I really like the color of this gold one. I've been wearing it almost every day. I just really love like the like 
gold dewy look that it gives and I've been in like some tropical places lately so it's been nice to have that like really dewy like bright tan look super gold can you see that yes look at the gold look at that happen so this product falls under skincare it is the pca skin acne gel this is an acne treatment that's two percent salicylic acid you can use it morning and night and i've been using it on my skin since the day i got it i just went on a trip with them to arizona I actually went to their headquarters and learned about all their products and i've been struggling with like some hormonal acne around my face and it's been so annoying so while i was there i was telling them all about my skin problems and they recommended this acne gel since the day i got it it really has been helping it like helps clear existing acne as well as like prevent future breakouts like by controlling the oil production of your skin and so i have noticed a difference and i've really been liking it some people like salicylic acid and if you do that one is a great product and I will link it down below so because acne is annoying and I just want it to go away and yeah so if you feel me um, you feel me because it's annoying <laughs> I am a huge sucker for selfless tanning. I used to work at a tanning salon, if you guys did not know that. So I used to spray tan all the time. Like I never remember ever being white. I was always, always super tan. I love spray tanning. And now that I don't work at a tanning salon, I actually like spray myself at home, which people are probably wondering, how do you do that? Well, I use like selfless tanner lotions on my body. And then for my face, I've been using and have been for years. I actually got it when I was working at the tanning salon and it's lasted me that long. It's the Infinity Sun Glow on the Go. So this product is actually the same solution that I used to spray on clients and it's just in a bottle form. We used to sell it to people like to help touch up their faces like when they were traveling. All this is is the solution in a can. So when I use this, I actually look really ridiculous because I put like a clear shower cap on and like tanning goggles to cover my eyelashes because I can't get the solution on there because it'll break down the glue which you don't want and I just like spray my face and sleep with it on and in the morning I have a perfectly tan face and it's amazing so if you've been looking for a good face tanner this one is fun so since it's June and we're getting into summer means fun eyeshadow colors this is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat palette it's perfect for travel, which I know you guys are probably like, you guys talk about travel a lot. Well, I travel a lot, so almost everything I do is based around travel. There are some darker colors, there's some orangier colors, and then there's just like my nudes and tans, which is what I wear on a daily basis. And it's a great palette just to keep in my makeup bag when I'm on the go. I know you guys have all heard about Jade Rolling. I'm a fan. This is a rose quartz one. They all do the same thing. So basically what this roller does is help with lymphatic drainage as well as puffiness. Kind of just gets everything moving and circulating through your face. So by doing that, by helping the circulation, it also reduces the appearance of fine lines, which everyone loves. And I know I'm I'm very guilty of it. When I wake up, I have a very, very puffy face. So I just sit there once I put on all my product and like roll my face and de-puff it. Great to have. And it's pink. And you guys all know I'm a huge fan of pink. So yay, Jade Rollers. All right, we have made it to the last item on my June Favorites Beauty products. And this is the Stretch Concealer by Glossier. I've heard so many people talk about this and I had never tried any like makeup products from Glossier so I was curious and I was in the market for a new concealer and so I picked this up at the new store here in West Hollywood and the store is beautiful might I just add um, but anyway I picked this up this is in the shade medium and I can tell it works really well by like warming up your finger and then putting it under your eyes because it kind of like melts to the heat of your finger. So you might be wondering, why is this your favorite concealer? Well, it's my favorite concealer for on days that I don't wanna do like a full face of makeup. It really does have a natural look to it. And they weren't kidding when they say it's the stretch concealer. It actually has beeswax and microcrystalline wax in it. So it really does give it a, like an elastic feeling as well as it's buildable. So on like days that I just like want a little bit more coverage, I can just like literally touch up my concealer and it, I don't get any lines. It literally just blends together. So that's definitely a plus. Also another reason why I'm a huge fan of this is it has a lot of nourishing ingredients. It has avocado oil and jojoba or jojoba oil. Not sure how to pronounce that. So I like that you get nutrients from this concealer as well as it gives you a really nice dewy finish. So I actually have it on right now. So if you like the way my concealer looks, this is the product. Um, 
I'm a big fan. And that's it. That is the last product on my beauty favorites for June. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. And if you guys have any June favorites, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I would love to hear what products you guys are loving. And that is it. I love you guys and I will see you guys soon and have a good day. Bye!